الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى صحابته الغر الميامين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم برحمتك ولطفك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين نصلي ونسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد respected brothers in Islam yesterday was 13 Rajab al Murajab the holy birth of Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wa karram allahu wajhahu al kareem the beloved son-in-law of Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Congratulations to all of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and grant us some drops from his knowledge and from his wisdom, hikmah. Ameen. Insha'Allah, on the day of his Shahada, 21st of Ramadan, Insha'Allah, I will, Insha'Allah, give a khutbah on his virtues because we are doing a series to learn about the compulsory things. Last Friday, I have been talking about the pillars of prayer arkanu salat the faraid of salat and i explain in detail the six main pillars of salat and i mentioned that if someone miss them if someone misses them by mistake or forgets them, he has to repeat his prayer. And also if someone leave them, any part of them intentionally, he has to repeat his prayer. Today, inshallah, I will talk about the wajib elements of prayer what are those things that are wajib in our prayer and the hukm and the rule of it is that if someone misses or forgets by mistake he should do sajda as sahab at the end it's called Suyud as sahab two sajdas at the end when someone forgets any part and he should do Suyud as sahab when he is in last tashahud when he says Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah then he should say assalamu alaikum and do two sujoods of sajda sahab if someone leave any part of wajib in salah intentionally then his prayer is batil invalid he should repeat his prayer because he left a wajib intentionally and in fact 
with mistake or intentionally leave any part because it's verb part so he should his repeat his prayer but here in wajib if he by mistake if someone leaves any part or forgets any part the wajib part by mistake so for that he has to do sujood as sahab as sajdatan as sahab two sujood of sahab so that will make it up and that will complete it the first wajib is qiraatul fatiha recitation of fatiha is wajib due to the words of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam la salata liman lam yaqra'a bi fatihati al-kitab whoever does not recite surah al-fatiha in his prayer his salat is invalid so remember that in fiqh of hanafi the jurisprudence of uh, the school the hanafi school of thought that this hadith indicate that the prayer is not perfect without surah al-fatiha but you your prayer is complete you can offer your prayer but if you forget surah al-fatiha then you have to do a sajda as sahab and the second thing is wa dammu surah aw salasa ayat fi raka'atayn it is wajib to add to the fatiha a surah or three verses of quran minimum three small verses of quran or a one big verse from quran it is wajib in salah if someone forgets it by mistake so he should do sajda as sahab and also in fiqh hanafi he is allowed to read surah in third and fourth rakat in in isha prayer just read surah al fatiha then read any surah in two rakats at the end he should do sajda as sahab so his prayer is complete if someone forgets about any surah and the other wajib is wa fi jami'i raka'at al witr wan nafl that was about the faraid but it is wajib to recite a surah with the fatiha in all the rakats of witr and nawafil and voluntary prayers in witr and the all nawafil or sunan so it is wajib to recite surah al fatiha and after it Uh, any surah small surah or any big verse or any three small verses if someone forgets them he should do sujood as sahab two sajdas of sahab that will complete it and make it up and the other wajib is wa ta'yinul qira'ati fil awwalain the recitation of surah or three verses is to be fixed in the first two rakats of all obligatory prayers it is also wajib that you can someone can read any surah or any verse in faraid in obligatory prayer in first two rakats the ta'yin you have to fix them that you are going to read in first two rakats and the other wajib in salah is wa taqdimul fatiha ala surati it is wajib to recite the fatiha before the surah it is also wajib that first you have to read someone has to read fatiha then any surah if someone forgets and just uh, begins with any surah then he should when he remember then he have to start surah al fatiha then again he has to read any surah or three verses of from quran and then he has to uh, complete his prayer with sujood as sahab to sajda of sahab if someone forgets any that to read fatiha in beginning he has to when he remember he has to uh, recite surah al fatiha then again he has to recite surahs after that that he has to do sujood as sahab to sajda of sahab that will complete it if he forgets the other wajib is wa dammul anfi 
lil jabhati fi sujood when someone is do, doing prostration as sujood so it is also wajib to put his forehead and the nose together on ground if there is no any reason if there is any kind of reason uh, on uh, if there is any wound or anything uh, on his forehead so it's a reason but without it it is wajib to uh, when someone does uh, a sajda prostration so he should have to put his nose and forehead both on ground it is wajib in salah in without reason if someone just miss it or forgets it or just you know because of laziness or any other reason so he should do sajda asab at the end as sujood asab to sajda then and the other wajib in salah is wal ityanu bis sajda at saniya fi kulli rak'atin qabla al intiqal li ghayriha it is also wajib that if someone is offering prayer and uh, he is in sajda so he has to do two sajdas before to just sit in a tahiyyat in tashahud or start the third rak'at or the second rak'at so when he is in sajda it is wajib to do two sajdas if someone misses them so he should make up with sujood as-sahab two sajda of sahab and the other wajib in salah is wal itminan fi al-arkan it is very important very very important mostly when we offer prayer we just uh, offer very you know uh, quickly but it is wajib in prayer it is necessary to remain motionless for a moment in all the pillars of prayer in every prayer we have to uh, be motionless like with itminan with calmness with peace we have to offer our prayer that when we are in ruku we don't have to just show that we are going in ruku and we have to come back on qama but when you are in ruku so you can do your ruku it shows that you are doing ruku and also in qama someone uh, uh, mostly you know if they are in hari they just when they are in ruku right away they just stand up if it doesn't show it's they are standing or not but they go into sajda so here it's saying wal itminan fil arqan it is also wajib a compulsory it's wajib if someone miss it so he should make up with sajda to sahab because it's wajib part of salah in another wajib is wal qurud al awwal wal qira'at al tashahud fihi fi al sahih wa qira'atuhu fi al julus al akhir it is also wajib in second rakat that someone sit for tashahud and also read tashahud in it if someone just uh, you know by mistake go in third rakat and just miss the second rakat so he should do sajda asab that will complete and make it and also wa qiraatuhu fil julus al akhir and if you are in you know for uh, the the faraid that like isha or like uh, any four rakat of like zohar or asar or maghrib so if you uh, they're just sitting by itself at the end of tashahud it's fawd but the reciting in it it is wajib if someone miss it so he should uh, do sajda as-sahab wa lafzu salam duna alaykum and when and the, the word of salam is also wajib if someone just say assalamu alaykum so he exits from prayer if he just miss it so he should do sajda as-sahab to make it up as sujood as-sahab to sajdas so lafzu salam is also wa qunutu al-witr wa takbirat al-eidain and in witr prayer in in hanafi jurisprudence the qunut the dua of qunut qunut we call it because of its dua 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 qunut so dua qunut is wajib if someone miss dua qunut he should make up uh, with sujood as-sahab wa takbirat al-eidain and at the in the prayer of eid the takbirat allahu akbar allahu akbar like in fiqh hanafi we have six takbirat additional so these are all a wajib if someone miss them they can make up with sujood as-sahab may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to offer our prayers and care about all these wajibats and faraid and as-sunan wa ma alayna illa al-balagh